Hi everyone, so I'm here to do Violet's Autumn Winter Clothing Haul. I will link Alistair's down below because I've done his first and I'll also link um, last year's as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you basically clothing and then the odd bods here and there of like pyjamas, shoes and I've gone crazy on tights for some reason. Um, yeah, so the first shop I'm going to start off with is H&M. Again, I think when I said with Alistair's um, clothing haul, H&M do such a choice and they switch over their clothing so often um, and it's so so cheap and really really cute some of the pieces so I picked up a good handful of things I really fancied on their website so the first thing I got was this really cute top I think it might have been three or four ninety nine. I got it in the age two to four years and it just has this little bunny on with the velvety bow there and then I thought these um, little jegging trouser things would go really, really nicely. Um, I love the floral print, the colour, really autumnal, grey with the yellow and there's a hint of pink, pink in there. Um, she actually has the, uh, like a really bright pinky colour from spring and she still wears them and they, they wash really well and they look really comfortable because they kind of look like jeans but obviously they're not. They've got pockets and stuff. But I thought um, that as a, a little outfit would look quite cute. I think the little girl in the picture might have worn that. I think these are 5 99 And then I picked up this really cute cardigan. I think I'd wear this myself. It looks quite plain and it has a really lovely like button detail. I love the way the button does up over here. It's just grey. Um, but it has little faux leather hearts uh, patches on the sleeves and I just think that's just adorable. It's really quite simple but just putting that little extra on it just made me want to buy it and again I got that in the age two to four years. I think this might have been 9 99 I got her the mustard cardigan. These are about 5 99 Such a staple. Violet has these in pretty much every colour apart from the mustard and they bring this out I suppose every year like autumn winter time because it's kind of that sort of staple colour. So I got her that I also got her these joggers. I knew she'd really like these. I got these in the three to four years. I think these are going to be massive. <laughs> but luckily um, the waist does cinch in. Um, but they're basically just comfy joggers for at home or nursery. They have little squirrels and bunnies on. And they do have a matching hoodie as well. Um, but yeah, just for those comfy days or even like a soft play or something. And then I also got her this little... Um, what is it? Braces, not braces, dungaree dress. Um, it has a little frill at the bottom. They actually do have this in a khaki colour. So very tempted to get it. You may see Violet in it if I decide to get it later on in like the winter months. But I just thought with a really lovely like pretty blouse underneath um, with some tights and boots she would look super cute and she actually chose the pink because you know, I can't necessarily stay away from pink the whole time. She loves, she's a girl and she loves pink. So, um, yeah, and it's, um, did I say it was cord? It's a cord. And this is only 9 99 which is an absolute bargain. The last two items that I got from um, H&M were some snuds. Um, she um, has one from last year which she's worn to death and she loved it, wearing it in nursery especially. And I've kept that one for nursery. It's kind of battered and tatty. But I got her a couple of more couple more. These were actually in the boys section. Um, but they're one size and I think they're 2 99 So I've got her one in the grey and one in the navy blue. Um, the navy blue one's slightly th more thicker. I'm not sure why but hey ho. Um, yeah these are just great to throw on. It's better than having like the hefty like long dangling scarf. This could go around the neck wearing any coat sort of thing. So um yeah, love those and she really likes wearing those so I thought I'd get two of those. Okay, so moving on to Next. I'm actually quite surprised by myself that I haven't bought more from Next. But I don't know, maybe I haven't seen many things that I liked. I'm sure they're probably bringing out a few more pieces. But um, I just try to avoid Next to be honest because I can go crazy in that shop. Um, yeah, anyway, so I got a couple of things. I got this um, little top and trouser set uh, back in ages ago, about a month or month over a month ago maybe. Um, but it's basically a white blouse with a little frill and it has hairs on it. Um, so, so pretty and quite, um, I don't know, quite girly but quite a classic sort of top. I thought she could dress this up and down and wear it through spring, summer as well. Um, such a pretty top. I just hope she keeps it white. Um, yeah, so I got her that. I got that in the four to five. It is pretty big but 
I think it would look quite nice oversized um, with some leggings and trousers and stuff. Um, yeah, and that was £9, which I thought was pretty good. And then I saw these little legging thingies, these kind of slouchy, comfy trousers. Um, these are kind of pinstripe blue and white, um, but not too much, not too like over the top. These were £7.50 and I got them in the age 3 to 4. And I actually thought they would go quite nicely together. Um, quite a nice comfy outfit, so I got those. And I actually picked these up recently. I wasn't supposed to be in next. Or maybe I was in next for myself, and then I saw this little, like, dungaree dress thingy, and I just thought it was so cute, and I think it was, it was so, it was so cheap, com like, compared to some ones that I've seen. Yeah, it's basically, it was £10, and it's basically, like, detachable braces, with the skirt, with pockets, and because it's so plain, I thought she could wear it with practically anything, any colour tights, any colour top, and again, I got that in the age four to five, so, so cute. And then at the same time, I picked up this top. She actually has this in a really beautiful dress, which is so stunning. Um, but this has more of a hint of blue in the background. The dress has more of a white hint. Um, but it's basically just a really nice jumper or, you know, sweater. Um, not too heavy. I got this in the age four to five as well, and it was £10. It's got buttons at the back. I just thought that was really, really nice going into autumn. Um, and two, a little set actually, my friend got, um, or gave to Violet from her little girl. This is a couple of seasons ago. Um, it's basically a little denim dress with a little bear on it and then you stick the red polka dot top underneath. And then you could pair it with like cream or grey tights or even red tights. I thought that was so cute. Um, so that is pretty much everything I got from Neck. And moving on to the Little Bird range in Mother Care. There is actually a couple more items that I really want from the newer stuff coming out, but my actual, um, well, my local mother care are no longer stocking Little Bird range, which I'm furious about. So I'm going to have to go to Southampton. And late, well, last time I went there was about two or three weeks ago, and they didn't have any of the newer stock. So um, yeah, likelihood I'll probably get her maybe one or two pieces. I think there's like a little cord dress, maybe a matching top to go with, something like that. Um, but I'll show you what I got from there anyway um some of the other bits i think you've seen this top already this is basically just a rainbow long sleeve t-shirt really cute got it in the age four to five and it's nine pounds so so cute that see that would look really cute with that um dungaree type skirt um and then i also got her uh, this jumper this was actually in the sale it was definitely in the sale. I think it was half price at six pounds. It's originally 12 pounds, but it's just a rainbow sort of oversized jumper. I thought this was super cute. Great for, um, great for lounging around the house. Stick, stick, you know, like a pair of like skinny jeans with it. So, so comfortable. And yeah, got her that. Um, another thing that I've got her, which I think you've already seen was this blouse. This is, it's in the bigger size, it's in age five to six, but I actually sized it up with the four to five that I've got in like a different print. Not much difference, it's just a little bit longer. Um, but again, that's just so pretty. It's such a pretty, um, colorful, girly sort of collar and print. And that was 10 pounds. Um, she's actually worn this skirt, I think she wore it, she's only worn it once, but it's basically a little cord skirt. I actually got this in the sale, I think last summer. Um, or last winter, I can't remember, but yeah, it's so, so cute, and this is in the age three to four, and it's basically just a cord floral, and I love the colour of it, it's, it really suits her violet, that colour. Um, I also got these little leggings in the sale, these were originally eight pounds, I got them for four pounds, um, in the four to five, and they're just comfy little leggings. These would be great for nursery and just for lounging around the house. I love the waistband. It looks super, super comfortable, like yoga pants, you know? Um, yeah, I've got her those. And then the last two items, which I thought would look really cute together. These, This is basically the stuff from the like, newer collection. Um, is this little toadstool skirt. Absolutely loved it. Got it in the age four to five. It was £14, which isn't too bad. It's really, really thick, like amazing quality. It's like double layered. And like, how pretty is that? I just think that's just gorgeous. And then I thought this little top would look really cute with it as well. This is basically just a stripy long sleeve top with the sort of color blocks. And this was nine pounds. 
So that would like look like a really cute, or well like that actually, like a really cute little outfit with some plain tights. So that's everything I got from the Little Bird range. So now I'm going to show you a few pieces that I got from Zara. I did an online order. I very rarely shopping Zara anymore because I find Zara and H&M very similar, but the price is so much higher in Zara. That's, that's how I feel about it. Um, but anyway, they had a sale on back in the summer sometime, and I picked up a few bits. The first item I'm going to show you is the little dungarees. These are age four to five. Um, I think I got these in the sale, but it says $7.99 on them. So I'm not exactly sure how much I got them for. Um, but they're just grey and they're really lightweight and I thought they'd look super cute, you know, with any sort of top. Um, so comfortable as well. And like I said, I got them in the age four to five. I also got her this little dungarees as well. This is a slightly thicker set. Um, so, so cute. Quite a neutral colour. I compare it with pretty much anything. These were $12.99, but again, I think I got them in the sale for maybe $7.99. Um, very, very cute. I love the the way they um, tie up. I'm not sure how... Oh, it's got buttons at the back, so maybe you have to put them on sort of slightly backwards with the straps. Um, yeah, so I got her those. I got her this little blouse. I'm worried it's going to be a bit too small, though, because it's age 2 to 3, but it was in the sale... For, I don't know how much but it says $5.99 on there but it was so so pretty it has floral design on it and sort of rolled up sleeves so yeah hopefully it'll fit her you never know this is in the, the newer newer collection I suppose um, age three to four I got her these little joggers and they've got stars on the knees and they're kind of like grey speckly um, really really cute and these were $8.99, slightly more expensive, but really, really nice. And the last item I got is, I think this top actually went with the, the little trousers. Um, but this says magic. You can see that it says magic on there with the little designs. I just thought that was super cute. I love the colour, the dusky pink. And this was $6.99. And then I'm going to show you all the hodgepodge stuff that I bought, like here and there. Um, a pair of Bowden cords. She's actually worn these, I think, once. These are in the age of four years. They are slightly, not slightly actually, really, really big in the waist. Um, but they have the little pull-ins. So, she, you know, she has worn them once. But I think they're going to fit her better this year. Uh, they're basically cord and floral, kind of like a retro print. I got these in the sale absolutely ages ago. I think probably back last winter. Um, but I love those. I think they look really cute through the winter. I think I might have shown you this top actually. This is a Jules floral um, little t-shirt. I think I got this in the sale for like five pounds and I got that in the age four. That's really lovely. A couple of items that I bought last winter in the Fat Face sale. So I got these bearing in mind that Violet's coming up to four. I was thinking four to five. Um, I don't think Fat Face go any lower than four to five in age. But I got these tops for like five pounds each. They're originally nine fifty. Um, this little winter one, it's the berry colour with the little bear on it. I thought that was really cute. And then this one has a little fox on it. Again, it's like a wintry themed, um, and such like really thick quality. And then I also got this jumper in the sale. Again, age four to five. Um, I think I got this for, I think it might have been half price, I think it was £10, originally £20 because it's um, wool I think, I think this is wool, um, it feels really good, um, but it's basically just a really lovely knitted card um, jumper with the pockets and it has the navy blue and then the ombre pink. I just thought that was really nice. It's really nice and thick for winter. I got her two skirts. You might have seen this one. She hasn't worn this one yet. This is from Bowdoin. I got it in the age three to four. Again, I got this in the sale. Really cute retro um, skirt. And then I got this one recently in the sale. I think I got it for £10. These skirts can be really expensive. They can be around like 20 to £30. So for 10 quid, I thought it was a really good deal. Um, I got this one in the four to five. Um, and it has like the London buses and the, like the um, London Eye. I was thinking, what is that? It's the London Eye, Big Ben. I just thought that was really, really cool. With like a, a knitted jumper or something and some woolly tights and boots. Super duper cute. I think I'd wear that myself. Okay, a couple of bits from Nutmeg, which you've seen. This really cute t-shirt. 
£2.50, it's just very autumnal. Um, again, this one is £2.50 with the little um, girl with baking, very, very cute. And then I also got this little set. Um, I think I got this when we were on holiday randomly. I think we'd done her food shop in Morrison's and Graham was like, why are you picking up clothes while we're on holiday? But I just couldn't help myself. Um, yeah, it's just a little set. Um, it has a little mouse and it's got a floral sort of print on it and then the leggings kind of go with it. The top was £2.50 and the leggings were £4. Mother Care top, you've I've seen this in a recent video probably. This was £10 and it's basically just a cord floral um, little top. So, so pretty and girly. I love the little collar and it has buttons at the back. And then a little vintage dress that I actually found in a charity shop. I think I found it for like £1.50. I don't go to charity shops very often because, to be honest, the ones where we live are pretty naff. It's just full of tap, basically. Um, but I randomly went in there and I spotted this little floral dress. And it has like a cord collar. And it's just really old school. I'm sure I had a dress like this myself. And it's just really, really full. It has layers. It has the lacy trim and it's just screamed autumn to me and I just thought that was so cute with the little buttons for £1.50 I mean that's an absolute bargain I think it's age four um yeah so I got her that last couple of items which I got in the outlet when I took Alistair there a few about a month or so ago from Kath Kidson so I found these little jeans they're kind of just straight leg they have the floral bit there and then flowers on the bottom really lovely um aged three to four years and these were originally 24 pounds and obviously out of price you get them 10 pounds which i thought was pretty good um yeah so little denim jeans i got her this little top not really the best autumnal top or like winter top because it's like short sleeved but it was originally £12 and I think it was on sale for, it did not say on there, I think it was on sale for £7. Um, but it just looks like that. And I think that would look really cute with those jeans and like the mustard cardigan. So, got her that. And then I saw this little um, zipped up like romper um, nightwear. And it's in floral, it's got a zip down the middle, it's toweling. And look how gorgeous is that? I mean, it's got no feet, so it's perfect for like her age. It's age three to four. It is pretty huge, to be honest. This was originally £26 and I got it for £14. Okay, so now on to the remainder of the other stuff that I bought. So I've gone crazy with PJs. I don't know why. I just think I bought some in the sale and then I forgot I bought them. So I've kind of just bought more. Um, but you saw these little 90s I bought absolutely ages ago from L the Little White Company. These were £8. They're just really girly and pretty. This one has ballerinas on. And originally these are £26. So £8 an absolute bargain. And this one, you've seen as well, it's got little horses on. Again, it was 26 down to 8 Um, How pretty is that? It's really long, this one. That'd be a really cute nighty. Got her a couple of pajamas in the sale from Gap. Gap have like amazing, amazing pajamas. I love the whole um, long john and like long sleeve tops and stuff. But I always assume they come up small. Like I, I haven't bought them in so long for Alistair uh, and for Violet. I think Violet had a pair when she was maybe 18 months old, and I assumed they were just going to be really, really small. So I got the age five for Violet because I thought, well, I need them to last. But they're actually huge. So I'm hoping they will be okay because they are quite tight, long john style. But these are all reduced to, I think, 750 or I think they were half price. So they might have been 750 But this is a little, uh, really cute actually. It's like the pale pink with the cloud. It has little shoes on and a bow. And then it has the matching navy blue with cloud um, trousers. So that's one set. And the other set was really pretty as well. This one has um, tree... Uh, it looks like it kind of looks hand done actually. The little bunny, and I love the minty sort of colour. And the leggings are actually little trees on them. Love the colour. And then the other PJs that I got, which were half price from Sainsbury's, absolutely ages ago. I've probably got these this time last year. Um, age four to five, and these 
are really really cute these have um, little owls on them and foxes and there's just two sets in there, trousers and a long sleeve top for £5.50. Can't really go wrong, that is ridiculously cheap. Okay, so I, I did say that I went crazy on the tights. I don't even know why. I think some of these I bought ages ago. So these ones are from Primark. They've got stars, stripes and spots. And they're kind of a little bit silver, shiny. And they were £5. I think I bought them last year. I got these recently with the Little Bird stuff. These are five pairs of Little Bird socks. I'll show you a couple of pairs. These are really, really um, like unisex, really cute. Rainbows on, um, stripy pair, you know, totally unisex. You can use them for boys or girls. Um, so I got her those. I got her um, a three pack of just navy tights in the age three to four. These were reduced half price to four pounds for three. Navy are really, really popular with me, obviously. A lot of her clothes go with navy. These were Little Bird, um, £9 down to five. Um, again, in the four to five, this is a yellow pair and a cream pair. And then I got her these little socks for £2.50. They're kind of spotty socks. So that is the socks. I'll show you her shoes now. So I picked her up these little boots. She has these in the navy blue in the size six from last year, but they're too small now, sadly. Her foot is just too fat to get in it. So, um, and she's worn them to death. So I got her these little brown ones in the size seven. Uh, these were on sale from 16 pounds to 10 pounds. Um, and they're just uh, like a suede boot. Again, these are all unisex, so they suit boys and girls. Um, yeah, love those and they're great for wide feet. Two little pairs of shoes that I got from H&M. So she's had these pretty much every year since she started walking and I think this is probably the last year I can get them. Um, I got these in the size 7, they look pretty big to be honest. But they're basically just really, the really girly um, vintage looking um, sort of t-bar shoes. They're only like 7 99 they're velcro, they're really really wide so they're great for the kids with high insteps. She finds them really comfortable and like I said she's had these pretty much every single year um, and they're so so cheap. So I've got her those again. I also saw these little boots online. Um, these have the hard soles. They're kind of in the baby section if you're wondering. If your child's got small feet up to size 7 you can still um, get the shoes in the baby section but just make sure you get the ones with the hard soles um, again I think these might have been about 6 99 maybe 9 99 they're really really soft and warm they've got the little silver um, not silver or maybe they're a bit silvery silvery grey stars and the velcro again these are unisex so I'm in mean, the size 7 I just thought they were super duper cute they're gonna go with lots of things and then the last pair of shoes is her Uggs um, I got these for her last year in the size 6, I got them again this year in the size 7. If you look after them, um, just give them a clean, you know, every time they wear them, try not to let them go out in like wet weather in them. Um, they will sell on really, really well. I got half my money back, which went towards the new pair. So, um, yeah, can't go wrong with a pair of Uggs. They're so, so cosy and comfortable for her. Um, yeah, that's kind of like a staple boot, to be honest. Okay, lastly, I got her a pair of these really, really cute bunny slippers. Uh, I don't know if you can see those, if you want to focus, but look how cute they are. Again, I think they're in the size 7. They were originally £22 from the Little White Company. They've got the little pom-poms on the back as well. But I got them for £5, so... Absolute bargain, you know Violet, she is slipper mad. She wears, she has about five pairs, but she wears them continuously, so they wear out really quickly. So I got her those. This little cute hat, where's this from? From Gap. I think I bought this the same time as I got the pyjamas. Um, it's just sort of grey with like thread, like silver thread through it, and it's a little bare ears. I have a feeling this might have been in the boys section, but I think Violet would look really super cute in it. I think it was on sale. Um, I don't remember how much though, but yeah, I got her that. So the last thing I'm going to show you is two coats that I got the kids back in, I think, March, April time um, from Muddy Puddles. Um, these were reduced, I think, from 20, I want to say 24, 28 to like 12, I think. Um, but Alistair, I got him the stripey one, North School, I got it in the... Um, age seven to eight. Muddy Puddles is like a brand that has, it's kind of like 
regatta or regatta, whatever you want to call it. It's um, they basically just hold a load of waterproof clothing for children and welly boots and everything. And they have amazing, amazing sales. That I would definitely check them out. Although, having said that, I haven't been that impressed with their wellies that they've had this year. I've had to already change them after about six months, which is really bad, I think, because they've got holes in. Anyway, I got the kids these little fleece-lined, like, coats. Um, really, really nice. Feels really, really soft. And, yeah, so that one's Alistair's. And then I picked up this one for Vi. I got this in the age four to five. And it's just spotty. It's just great for like going around the farms, going on walks, to the park, that sort of thing. They need something like this, even nursery. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much everything. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll try and link everything down below um, if I can find it online. And I will see you all soon.